Hi, this time we are going to implement sprite deformation. In our game we use this for hit feedback that gives a sense of direction and strength of a hit. We will only need a very small vertex shader for this. We have prepared a Noto D scene with a camera and a devilish cat sprite to manipulate. Let us start by adding a shader material to the sprite. We give it a deformation vector that will describe the direction and strength of deformation in an interval between about minus 0.5 to 0.5. We then add a vertex function. A sprite always has exactly four vertices. We will start by extracting the diagonal component, which is the amount the horizontal and vertical deformation have in common. This will be the strength of the sharing we apply to the sprite. We get the width of the sprite from the vertex's x distance to zero. The sharing should only apply to the vertices that face the deformation vector. This can be ensured like so. Each impacted vertex will be translated based on the strength of the sharing, a uniform factor to balance the amount and the size of the sprite. The translation should go in the direction of the deformation, so we multiply the signum of the deformation as well. This already handles the diagonal forces quite well. However, we still need to cover the other directions. For that, we will compress the sprite based on the deformation strength, but will keep its area constant by expanding it in the other dimension. We calculate how much we want to squeeze in either direction. The squeeze will be multiplied to its own dimension and divided by the other dimension. There is one more behavior we want to correct. Right now, the sprite always stays in the middle, but when it takes a strong impact, the side facing the impact would be compressed a lot, while the other side would be mostly unaffected. To achieve this, we just move the whole sprite a bit. The exact amount should be configured as you like. And with that, the shader is done. In order to play around with this feature, we will add a little test code. For that, we use a simple mouse click to send an impulse to the sprite. The force should be larger the closer it is. In your game, this would maybe be based on the amount and direction of damage dealt to a character. We will fade out the amount of deformation over a scale of 1000 units. The maximum force should usually not be much higher than 0.5, as it starts to look unnatural at some point. We can simply use a tween to interpolate the deformation vector smoothly. The initial deformation should be rather fast to show the immediate strong impact. After that, the sprite will slowly recover over the course of a second. And now we can play with it. And that's it! As always, you can download the code from a GitHub repository, which we link in the description. If you liked the video, you can subscribe for more tutorials and devlogs. And if you want to support us, you can feed the YouTube algorithm with a like and a comment. Thanks! Okay, so what's next? Nothing! We finished! So I carried this stool for like half an hour out here for four lines. Yeah. Okay, sounds, sounds reasonable. I'm just going to film some ducks now. Quack.